good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome on this new video on Monster Hunter World Beta Weapons Guide On this episode we're gonna have a look to my favorite weapon so far, the Wyvern Blade which is a longsword type of weapon that inflicts fire elemental type damage. Longsword type of weapon are really good because they are good close to mid range and they can deal a fair good amount of damage compared with the great swords and they are quick and they can give you the they give you good mobility through the fight. And they give you the, the opportunity to go in and out of the fight as needed, as required. Uh, there's no option to block with them, because they are two-handed weapon. But still, you don't, you won't will be needing to block using one of these. We are here now currently in the trading section of the beta test. And... I'm gonna show you all of the moves that this baby can do, guys. So we go first with a basic combo, which is a 4 hit combo that starts with a step slash and then overhead slash, thrust, rising slash. Last two attacks are really quick, but the first two are a bit slow. However, the first attack, step slash, it gives you a step forward, it, it permits to do a step forward to the character and if you see at the moment we are definitely out of range for hitting the piece of wood in front of us but with a step forward we're still missing hey, hey so now we're definitely out of range but with a step forward you can hit your target it gives you the extra room in combat that you may need to you know hit your opponent while trying to stay out of his range, which is really good for a two-handed weapon. Alright, so before going into the second combo, the Spirit Blade, on this weapon, I want to show you the secondary attack of the Longsword, which is the Trust. The Trust is a very fast attack, but it doesn't combo with anything, it's just a Trust, as you can see. You can go just for a very fast poke and then, you know, go away. Just try to dodge away and, you know, put yourself back in, in safe zone. Uh, but you can... The best use for this attack is, um, is mix-up potential with the basic combo. As you can see, like the 4-hit combo, uh, it's very fast on its last two attacks, but the first two are a bit slow. However, by mixing with the trust attack, you can go for the first one and then go straight for the thrust and then for the rising slash as a last one or you can even go straight for the thrust and the rising slash once again and you can keep mixing it as long as you have stamina for doing it you lose a bit of damage uh, by doing that because the first attack is the most powerful of the chain but in this way you are much faster uh, which is something that still needs to be taken in consideration. Spirit Blade. What is the Spirit Blade? The Spirit Blade is uh, the special ability of this weapon. As you can see here, it does have a gouge that it will fill by hitting your enemy. So the more you hit, the more you attack and hit your opponent successfully, the gouge will fill in red. You. It doesn't need to be completely full to perform the Spirit Blade because each Spirit Blade attacks will use a bit of your Spirit Gouge as a 4 hit combo, as you can see now. Very cool to see and very powerful to land on, a, on your opponent. And you can't keep chaining the combo if you don't have the spirit gouge so without the spirit gouge you will be able to perform only the first attack of the chain now before going into the third combo fade slash combo 
I want to talk about dodge attacks on this weapon. There are specifically two dodge attack in this weapon. One can be performed anytime and the other one requires speed gouge. The first dodge attack is performed by pressing triangle and circle at the same time and it goes for a slash followed by a, a small jump to the back which is really useful to, to pull yourself out of the situation if you are like in danger you can just you know you're just eating your enemy they're about to eating you so you just do that and get out uh, but you can also input the direction like if you're attacking and you want to dodge left or right you just need to input the direction in which you want to go and uh, the character will perform the dodge in that direction The second dodge attack of this weapon, it's performed by pressing the Spirit Blades button, which is R2, plus Circle for the Trust. And when pressed them together, your character will perform this move. It starts with a dodge and it comes back to punish with a wide slash. But again, it does require a Spirit Gouge. Also this move, as uh, the face slash, can be manually aimed. You don't have to necessarily dodge back, you can dodge even on the side, if you, the situation requires it. So again, it's a very versatile move that can help in many situations. If you input back as a direction, your character will perform the dodge towards the opponent. And this can be definitely used in some situation. Uh, it's nothing come to my mind at the moment, but yes, uh, you can dodge towards your opponent and then eating him from the back. It's an option. Also, the longsword has another attack that is called Spirit Trust, and is basically a leap forward to your opponent, stabbing them with a the blade. It's a really good attack if you are long range and you want to cover the distance quickly. It's not uh, the strongest attack of the, the weapon, but it does pretty decent damage and it covers lots of ground, as said before. And now we're gonna go for the last combo, which is called the Fade Slash combo. After performing a Fade Slash, press R2 to perform a unique Spirit Blade move. I'll show you once again, guys. Here we go. It's called Spirit Jumping Slash. And it's unique, you can only perform it after the Fade Slash. Then the chain continues with Spirit Blade 3, and then it will end with a Charge Attack. But it doesn't have to be necessarily the, the Trust Attack. You can also chain uh, the fourth uh, attack of the, of the previous combo, the Spirit Blade. Which will end in a much cooler wave, in my opinion. And, in my opinion, it's much better to end it in that way, because it's, it's gonna prepare the next move I want to show you. Okay, as you can see now, our speed gouge is empty. If we're gonna charge it, we can see the red rising. Now, we are going to perform the speed blade. The entire combo. After the last attack, you can now see that the um, Spirit Gouge has been depleted completely. It's, it's empty again, but there's um, a glowing uh, white aura around the swords now. And what does aura mean? That now we have access to the most powerful attack of the Longsword, which comes straight after the Spirit Thrust. And I'm gonna show you now. Yes! And now tell me that that wasn't cool, huh? Come on. I dare you. Also, after you perform that, if it's done correctly and it's the target, you will still be able to go again with your Spirit Blade. And so doing extra, more extra damage. And that was the Longsword, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video, if you did, uh, please leave me a comment down below telling me what 
you uh, think about this weapon personally, I am loving it. It's it's so cool. And I, I don't know, I just want to keep using even when the game will be released. Of course, the Wyvern Blades is what we have in the beta version, but it, it surely it is not gonna be our first longsword. Uh, we will find something much weaker, but I think the moveset is gonna be the same, so yeah. So, thank you very much for watching the video guys, if you did, uh, leave a like down below if you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe for more Monster Hunter World Weapons video because they are coming. But for now, I'll see you in the next video. Feel the rainbow!